we have seen uh, some examples of joints I think twice before and we have touched the topic before but the topic is very broad and is extremely important and it can be very complex and if you're working with a relational database or you want to master the subject of SQL you have to understand join thoroughly this is regardless of the product you're using whether you're using Oracle or SQL Server or DB2 or any other relational database that is using SQL so let's see if we can enhance our knowledge a bit more so we'll go through an example uh, the traditional way which we used in past as well as the new SQL standards that are very popular nowadays and sometimes are a bit easier to use it would be impossible for me to cover the whole topic in one video so we'll have to have several videos on the topic by joining we retrieve related data or normalized data from two or more tables that is presented to us as one data set as if it was only one table as is the case in front of you unless you actually look at this statement you actually look at the query there's no way to tell that this data has been retrieved from two different tables so f this column has been retrieved from employees table and this is the name of the column and this column has been retrieved from departments table and the name of the column is department name the purpose of this query is simply to find out which employee who works for which department so in this case Jennifer works for administration Pat for marketing Michael for marketing Segal for purchasing and so on and so forth the tables can be joined in a number of ways to display the result you may want the most frequent join is known as equity join as is the case with this statement there is an equality symbol equal sign one row in one table is related to one or more rows in other tables on the basis of equality of columns in simple words two columns in two different tables share the similar data for example if we use this table we see there's a column called department ID and if we see data from this table we have a column called department ID with same data in it as was in the employees table it is normalized data and let me explain normalization in a relational database the data is normalized in order to eliminate duplication and efficient management when entities have one to many relationships so we'll use the example of the tables that are in front of us each department has one can have one to many relationship with employees so each department one department can have many employees associated with it department administration can have several employees in it department marketing can have several employees in it so this is one to many relationship so in this case we can treat employees and department as two different entities and we enter data that is related to one entity in one table and this table has only 27 rows and versus this table has 107 rows now instead of entering departmental details 107 times we have entered departmental details only 27 times so this is this is normalization and this is how a relational database works you can also use aggregate function count to count the number of rows in this table called employees and you can also do the same thing with this table called departments 27 rows and 20 107 rows here so employees and departments are two different but related entities and two different tables have been created but for all practical reasons you'll frequently have to join data from related tables and for joining all you need is to have data that is matchable in two different tables so let me take the confusion out and let me create a subset of data for each table employees and departments and that is how we can create a subset of a table we'll say create table EMP which is the new table 
as select we'll say first name and department underscore ID from employees so we'll run this statement and we have created a table called EMP that has only two columns from this table and that copies the data into the new table as well we'll also create another table table DEPT as select department underscore name comma department underscore ID from departments so we're creating another table called DEPT that has only two columns from this table called departments and these names are department name and department ID so we'll run this statement and table department has been DEPT has been created so what we'll do we'll display data from these two tables and we'll join these two tables with the help of different options that we have available so this is new table that has 107 rows and this is new table that should have 27 rows only with only two columns so let me show you a traditional AKP join we'll say select all from EMP to the EPT where EMP department ID is equal to the EPT department ID now this is the simplest equi join and let me display the data first so it is retrieving all data from EMP table and department table where this joining condition EMP department ID which is this is equal to this tables department ID which is DEPT department ID notice a few important things to remember in order to write the query correctly the from clause has both table names separated by comma it is mandatory to have a where clause otherwise you'll end up with Cartesian product and we'll, we'll see what is a Cartesian product in a minute and notice a qualified name because the column names are exactly the same you have to tell your man database management system what table does this column belong to so this is the way you write it EMP dot department ID which means that this data has been retrieved from this this table EMP and this column belongs to the EPT table now Cartesian product so if you don't use see there should be 106 rows in it because one employee does not belong to any any department so only 106 rows if you omit where clause you'll end up with with Cartesian product which means that each row will be matched with the other row so it will be 106 times 27 and it is giving you 2000 rows which is of course not correct so where clause is mandatory where EMP dot department underscore ID is equal to department underscore ID and you have the the right data in front of you and of course you have an equal sign in where clause that is also a mandatory requirement one column has to match with the other column so these are the mandatory things otherwise you'll end up with problems you can also choose instead of using all you can also choose which you will frequently have to do you have to choose the column names instead of displaying four columns you can say EMP first underscore name you can say department department underscore ID DEPT underscore name from EMP DPT where 
mp department id is equal to depg department id and that way you can choose the number of columns that you want to choose so steven is an executive nina is an executive alexander is an it person nancy is from finance and you should again have 106 rows so that is another way of